Okay, so for today, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a lattice. It's just mainly to uh, kind of put a little barrier uh, between here and the other side. Um, I had already started, now if you noticed, uh, well, not really noticed, but like these posts are not equidistant apart. Um, I guess just how it's built. Um, I had already started placing the board on top, actually a two by four on top. I'm also gonna do one on the bottom as well and uh, leveling each out. So because uh, the posts are uh, different uh, distance from each other, I um, have to make one specific for each one. So what you see me doing here is I'm just pre-drilling this two by four. This is gonna be the uh, upper part of the railing as well as the lower part of the railing. So after I pre-drill each side, I uh, then drive the screw thereafter. And again, I do this on both sides. And that is the final product for the top part and I'll be doing the same thing right. for the bottom part as well. So you just get halfway through. through and then twist it. We are now in the middle of spring um, where I last left off. Um, I just did the frame uh, and those are just two by fours that I uh, had screwed in um, into the post itself. And I made sure that the uh, the height was is a little bit more than the uh, four by eight of the lattice. Uh, and that's, that's PVC lattice that I placed. So uh, I did the first three. I figured I'd just show the last one on how it's done. The first three were actually trial and error to see how it would, how would, how it would um, uh, show about, um, and some of them I had some problems with, but uh, I think I not, I honed it down to uh, what works well for me, and hopefully for you guys out there, if you plan to do this. So I had to make use of the screws um, that I already have on hand. I actually use this thing for uh, when I made my mailbox, and they have a bunch left over. So I'm gonna use these instead. You're not gonna be able to see these through the white uh, lattice because they're gonna be buried into the uh, lattice caps, okay? Um, and I have enough, so I'm gonna actually, each rail will have like four of these inside, okay? For me to uh, get those screws in, uh, because it's really, really thin, um, you know, the, uh, there's not much of a big gap. So what I'm gonna use is uh, a 3 8 drill and then uh, just drill through but not just to make an, enough opening space so my drill bit can actually go through along with the uh, the screw itself So this is again the bottom railing and I just got a scrap piece of wood here and, Okay The next thing I do um, is because it's just, a, you know, you can still see some of the stuff there. You can get a blade. I can't find my blade, so I just got a pair of scissors. And that should be enough to kind of clean it up a little bit. So next is just to work one way, one end, and work this way. This one has a little bit of a bend because it was left outdoors over the uh, winter season. But that's all right. Should be a problem. So when you take a look at this, you see the drill bit's somewhat centered to where I made that uh, wider hole. What I'm doing right now is I'm just drilling just the lower part of each lattice cap, and I'm gonna do this on both sides. Okay, so this is the right side, and then here comes the left side. Thereafter, I'm gonna drill in the rest of the screws after the lattice is in. So I already know that uh, when I place the uh, wood um, support on upper and bottom, that is just right for this four by eight lattice. It still gives you about a little bit less than a quarter of an inch gap. Um, and then again, that allows for expansion. So basically I just want, I need a measurement from, uh, from end to end, okay? 
So I measured from end to end, and it's going to be 50 and a half inches. So I have my T-square, so I can actually draw a straight line and cut. I don't have a, uh, <laughs> like one of those workbenches, um, enough to support this. So I'm just using my trailer for now, okay? And I'm just going to measure. Okay, so I have my cut. I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna slide it right through. Now, I did check to make sure that it's about a quarter inch apart um, by just kind of, I guess, dry fitting it. And then, if you can slide it in this way, you do one side first. slide it right down. So now that uh, the uh, lattice is in, the next step is to put the top cap on. And this should be pretty much. Make sure everything is inside the grooves and then you just push it all back in. Okay, now you can see there's a little gap, but then when you, when you screw it in, it's actually gonna pull it straight up, okay? This is the finished product, okay? Um, but I actually did make a mistake, uh, surprisingly, because it's the last one. Um, I did cut the lattice a little bit too short. So if you run into a problem like this, and I actually pull it out to one side, so it's actually more than a gap, of a quarter inch gap or what have you. So what I did was I'm actually gonna pull this out, tack a screw, uh, nail in through here. So that's an, it, it will slide, but not as much. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well, okay? Wow. Okay. And I'm going to place it, let's place it right here. So you want to get it on the bulky part of the uh, lattice and then just kind of drill it through. You're not going to go all the way in. You just want to give it enough. Just that. So let me put it through. Now you have to do it on the other side. So I was able to slide it and give you enough gap on this side. And the reason why it looks so big on this side, <clears throat> because I actually uh, overdid it on this side. I actually, um, so it's past more than what you need. So, but I, I needed a little space so I can do the same thing on this side. That's it. So now you have to do is just finagle it all back in again. Um, line it up the grooves. There you go. There. This side. So thank God this is a little PVC. Because you can actually bend it right in. One by one. There's no gap, you can slide it back and forth. You can also go up and down. Again, allowing that space. 
So when it does expand or contract, okay. Well, all right. 